Yep. All right. We'll call the uh, February 21st regular select board meeting to order now. Additions or changes to the agenda. We're going to have a potential uh, volunteer for the cemetery committee. Yes. Do that right away, I guess. Um, anything else, Vince? Nope, that's the only addition I had. Any public comment? All right. That's hearing none. Line. Hearing none, we'll deal with the addition right now. Uh, the addition of what do we got? Two openings on the cemetery commission at this point in time? Yes. Um, I don't know how active they are. It looks like two of the openings are up this year anyway. Uh, Gerald Stoff had volunteered to be on the Cemetery Commission. Um, so I think we could use some energy in that in town. Gerald Stoff. 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 S T A U F F. It's a you ready for a motion? Yeah. Right here. There's a letter in your packet. Okay. Thank you. Make the motion to elect uh or appoint, excuse me, Gerald Stoff as a member of the cemetery commission. Second. Um, any comment? And that, that appointment would expire March 31st, 2025. Yes. Okay. Any comment? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, I would, yeah, I would, uh, I would recommend that we, John and I won't be here, but I'd recommend to the rest of the board that we have them come in right away to start talking about some of these 11 cemeteries that are in the town of Berlin that we are doing currently active with. I'd have them come into the first meeting. Uh, next on the agenda, looks like we got Pete Kelly street name change request. Pete, are you there? Looks like he left. Oh, he's in the uh, way back in the waiting room. I'll admit him right now. Okay. <laughs> hey, Pete. Are you there? He's on mute. Uh, you're on mute, Pete. I'll ask you. Uh, Pete Kelly. Hey, Pete, we just called you up on the agenda. Um, so you're here to talk about the change of your road? Uh, yes, sir. He's looking to change it from Mel Street to Porter Place. Um, that is a lot of work, research on the Porter Place name for 911 purposes and all that, and it's there's no conflicts at all with that, with the state. So it's, it's good to move forward. Well, What's that perspective? Do we have to have a total carry on that? Oh, no, I think you just have to do the research to make sure there's no conflict and then the board is free to approve that. Are you familiar with that process, Brad? Do we have is there a public the hearing? Street name? Yeah. I think all you need to do is um is have Vince take in um make sure there's no problems with uh interference in other towns done that's been done and it almost seems like i don't think there's any i don't think there's any um need for a, a warning on this okay and there's there's basically two residents on that street i have a letter from uh tyler Ladd, who's the other resident that's on currently named mount street yep. uh supporting that change as well do we know what the purpose of the change is? The conflict with other towns. Okay. So the letter in here says that there's looking for it here. Uh it's Porter, 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 or not Porter, Mount Street Mary. Okay. And that shares the same zip code. Oh yeah. Apartment complex. Yep. Has yeah, issues. That's completely reasonable then. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um and where I'm just curious where the Porter place came from. So out of curiosity. Maybe Mr. Kelly. Out of curiosity, that's an old dog of mine that the neighbor grew up with. Okay. <laughs> Make sure it was something like that with you. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler is Randy's son. 
I make the motion to approve the street name change as requested by Mr. Peter Kelly for him and his uh, neighbor uh, from Mount Street to the effective name of Porter Place. I'll second that. All right. Any uh, any comment? Those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, Marvin Road Plowing Resolution Discussion. Thanks, Pete. Hey, thank, thank you. you guys very much. Have a good night. Enjoy I your evening. I can give a quick summary on that. Probably could as well. <laughs> You've been pretty involved in this portion. Uh, I won't go into the history, but uh, since the last meeting that we had, we paid a visit up there to Mr. Noyes. We walked, walked the area. We looked at the situation. We basically agreed that um, together that the existing turnaround site would be extended. Uh, he, he moved his fence to the back of that and put up two gates that could be open in the winter to push the snow all the way through and back. So there would be no more interference with the plow trucks, with the graders uh, during any any season uh, up there. Uh, we also agreed that in the summer, the back half of that extended turnaround, he could use for putting like a horse trailer and things, because the only thing at that point would be a grader that needed to be turned around. Um, in addition to that, uh, I'm going to make the recommendation to the board that we buy the two gates. Uh, we're going to help them install it and we're going to help them with the fence um, as we as we extend the turnaround. But I, I would recommend it as a good faith from the town that we go ahead and get the two gates as well. Are we still within the right of way or have we? We will be out of the right of way with that extension for sure. OK. And what will the cost of those two gates be approximately? It'll be about two hundred and between two hundred fifty and three hundred dollars for the mm -hmm. gates. Mm -hmm. That's reasonable. Each or total? Total. Okay. They're uh, twelve foot gates for twenty four foot span, and they're about one hundred and thirty bucks plus or minus a tractor supply. And mm -hmm. what have we gotten for solid agreement? Are we willing to put this in writing? I I sent this to uh, Mr. Noise via email. Asked him if he had. Any concerns about anything on there? And I get an email back said that so you'd be fine with all of that. Okay. I mean, I think this will eliminate the, who's who's at fault or blame for the maintenance of the road up there, and take take that stress off Tim, you, anybody else future in the town doing that. So, I think the purchase of the gates is kind of important in that process as well. Yeah, I'm just curious because of my recklessness on my tractor. If he if he or or someone was to back into the gates, who's responsible for them? Right. So I think we would want clarification of that. If we own them, then they need to be maintained in there. They would be out of Berlin property that Correct. we would maintain. And if we, for some reason, okay. yeah, that's what I would want clarification on for sure. It's not a large charge. It's just one of those things where just you know you're backing, backing up trying to move snow, and all of a sudden you mm -hmm. reckon again. <laughs> the whole point behind this is to take everything away and clarify. And mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. That's a very good point, John. And then, like, as far as the locking and unlocking of it, quite honestly, the opening and closing of that gate. Um, yeah. yeah. Either, or they actually, they don't, where they're located, they don't need to be locked. I'm just saying opening them. Yeah. I mean, it must be a patch. We'll open those. Yeah, we'll we'll open those we'll out comes out. Right? Yep. You'll open them up and push yep. it out. I gotcha. That's the whole purpose of that. Perfect. Yep. So, how does the board feel about that? So move. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. Are you fine yeah. with that as well, Brad? For a second. You second that for? Second. Okay. Any discussion? So, so just just to be clear, because we were at, in a discussion, the the motion would be to uh, approve the recommended course of action by the town and to purchase two gates. Uh, to help the landowner install or to install uh, in the turnaround spot. And extending the turnaround spot. Yeah. Yeah. And, and extend it. Okay. And I'll reiterate that I'm seconding that motion. Any additional, you, any additional discussion? All right. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries.
Uh, approval of license permits, vouchers, applications. I make the motion to approve payroll warrant 22-16 for payroll from January 30th, 2022 to February 12th of this year, paid on February 16th of this year in the amount of $45,655.12. Also payable warrant 22-G16 with checks 21782 to 21830 in the amount of $86,009.32. I'll second that. Any discussion? <clears throat> Those in favor say aye. 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 All right, motion carries. All right, approval of minutes of the meetings for December 20th, 2021, January 3rd, 2022, and January 17th, 2022. So these are the minutes that we've revised to indicate on there. And Christy did a good job. She was mm -hmm. identified everybody that was remote. Yeah, I saw that. So looking for that. Yep. I make the motion to approve all three of the minutes with just the exceptions to the last two. The date, the year needs to be changed on the January 3rd and the one following that. Other than that, I, I make the motion to approve all three with those corrections. I would second that. Good catch. Any discussion? Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Round table. What do you got, Vince? <laughs> I just like to thank the two leading board members. A great first year for me um, working <laughs> with you guys. Interesting <laughs> as well. I, I appreciate it. Good learning experience from private to uh, public as well. So thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you, Vince. John? Um, I just had, uh, you know, one one comment about the the trail, the, the new vast trail. And I think overall, I think it's, it's gone pretty well um, from from what I've seen and what I've heard. And uh, there doesn't seem to be, you know, any racing up and down the road that people are scared of or anything like that. I think the biggest problem was uh, parking. And I'm not sure that that had anything to do with snow machines after we put up the signs, but that's something that we'll continue to work on. So I think, we'll I think it looked, for next season. looked pretty good. And I saw a lot more uh, cross country skiers than, yeah. than I uh, thought we would. Uh, so that was good. Um, the second thing I wanted to bring up, which um, Rosemary's not in attendance, uh, and I didn't think anything of it until I walked in and saw a closed on Friday sign uh, for the town clerk's office. I thought as part of the um, request to make a second time, a second person full time in that office, we were going to have some kind of open office hours. That, well, Corinne is Corinne is here as well. They, the yeah, I, I don't want to make current te Corinne technically with the signs for her boss, but they have they have been here on Fridays, and there have been people that have been granted access to the vault when they come in. Okay, they don't they don't typically schedule a lot on Fridays for that, but so it's more of just just not open to the public. They're they're getting done the work that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And they're here for staff meetings and at the end of the month on Fridays because we have staff meetings. Okay. They're here for that. Kenny, anything for round table? I thought I already spoke. Okay. Justin, this isn't that you have the package that needs to go around and be signed this one. You can use this one or the other package. I also wanted to thank you both for being on the board and also for you, Representative, being here tonight. Okay. And just all of your passion and persistence and involvement. And wish you both you. the very best. Thank you. Brad, you got anything for roundtable? No, I'm all set. And thank you for your service. Thank you. Dave? No, I'm all set. And I'd like to thank. It's been a good first year with both you guys. Uh, would would wish you guys would have stayed a little longer. But uh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah, I'd just like to thank everybody for letting me have fun here for a couple of years. And thank you for showing up and getting, having fun, being put on the spot last minute, making a great public speech. Uh, <laughs> John, and, I don't know, we'll be back. It's fun. Enjoy the community. It's so much fun here. But thank you.
Uh, no executive session anticipated, right? No, sir. Entertain that motion. motion I make a motion. second. All any discussion? Those in favor? Aye. 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 We're adjourned. Thank you. Don't forget to vote.